Oh, hi there, and welcome back to Minecraft. In this video, we're going to look at the Amidst uh, tool. Now, I know what you're thinking, we've already covered this, and yet yeah, that's absolutely true. Uh, we have made a video on this before, but there's been a few updates since that video. Uh, in particular, 1.16 has come out, so there's been a few changes with that, and I also missed out a couple of bits. So um, let's try not to cover the same ground, but let's, um, let's get on with it. Oh, and uh, before I forget, the Amidst tool has been made to work alongside the Minecraft Java Edition. So before you jump down to the comment section and say, does this work with the Nintendo Switch? No, it doesn't. Uh, the way to tell if you're not sure is Minecraft Java Edition looks like this when you load it up. It says Minecraft Java Edition. It's got the buttons at the top, on the side, and down the bottom. Minecraft Bedrock looks a bit like this. Minecraft in the middle, and then buttons down the middle. It does not work on this. It does work with this. If you haven't already downloaded this, you'll need to head over to github.com slash toolbox for Minecraft slash amidst slash releases. Link is in the description. And once you're here, you'll need to find the latest release, which will be at the top of the page. And in this instance, it's v4.5 hyphen beta 3. You'll notice there that it says pre-release. That means it's not quite finished yet. And when it is finished, it will look like this, latest release. But we're going to go for the latest, latest one, which is the pre-release, and then click on the down arrow here next to assets. Here we can see emits hyphen v4.5 beta 3 xe. If you click on that, it'll download straight away. Once you've downloaded and opened the tool, you'll be presented with a window that looks a bit like this. Now, it will be different. Uh, this basically shows every installation of Minecraft Java Edition that the tool has found on your computer. So yours will probably look different. You'll have different versions. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to go for the latest version, which is 1.16.1 at the time of recording this video. So if we click on this, we can open it and it brings up a brand new window, which doesn't give you a lot, but we'll just go to open a random seed, which is control and R for short. And we'll just click default out of there because why not? If you want to know more about opening save games or new from seed, check out the video linked in the top right corner now. Once you've selected the seed, you'll be presented with a top down view of the world like this. That's spawn, that's a village, that's a jungle temple, that's a pillager outpost. Up here in the top right corner, you can see a list of whatever your cursor is currently hovering over at the moment. Gravelly mountains, birch forests, forests, etc. At the top left, you've got uh, the seed and the world type. We've covered all that in the previous video, as with most of the stuff in the world tab and most of the stuff in layers. A mist has now been updated to support Minecraft 1.16.1 seeds. However, no nether biomes for now. Obviously, this is still the pre-release stage. It's not completely finished yet. They are still working on this version and they've already done quite a lot of changes. They fixed a lot of the issues and bugs that have already come in place. And don't worry, as soon as this starts working, I will make another video to go through that with you. But prediction time. I'm thinking when it works, we're going to have in layers another option, a bit like the end where you can click on that and it shows you the dimension. I think that's what we're going to say with the nether. Obviously, at the moment, the nether is covered within the overworld, but I think that's all going to change. So we'll see what happens, but that's my prediction. Let's see if it's right. One question that came up time and time again in the previous video is how do you find a specific biome? And I mean, there's a couple of ways. So first of all, as I said before, at the top right corner, you can see the list of whatever biome you're currently hovering over. So in this case, you can see I'm looking at a jungle, uh, there's a jungle hills, there's a plains biome, uh, dark forest, swamp, etc. And that's that's one way to do it, and it's it works quite well. But it's not it's not the best. It it could be better, and it is better because if you look down the bottom right hand corner, you can see this icon here. It looks a bit like a marker pen. Click on that, and it gives you a list of every single biome in the game with their unique color. And incidentally, you'll notice that they got the new Nether biomes as well. So they exist, they're just not in the tool properly, but they are coming and you can see that. So let's say you wanted to find something and we'll just use a jungle example. You can click jungle there and then there's an inactive button here. Click on that and then that highlights just the jungle and makes everything else inactive. So now we've got active jungle. We can add jungle hills, we can add desert hills, which I mean, there's nothing on the map, but uh, jungle edge, etc. And yeah, it's just a nice, easy way of finding that specific biome you're looking for. And if you're looking for a certain combination of biomes, say, for example, I don't know, let's say you wanted 
a tiger with snowy beach okay that's a bad example with a war motion yeah um I mean, yeah, you, you can just go around and, I mean, I not all maps are going to show every combination, but you're going to find stuff, so there's a Sunflower Plains, for example, I'm sure we can find that somewhere. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of some of these other ones. Tiger, War Motion, Sunflower Plains. So there's one there. Okay, so that, that would have been very difficult to find had I just searched normally and there's some very very tiny ones so this does help find those small ones because I'll say if you just haven't got that and you're relying on hovering over it I, I've already lost it I don't know where is it it's there somewhere so another thing I want to go over this video is a new feature added in this version and if you look in the world tab and go to the bottom there's now an export biomes to image or control on x and that's pretty cool now you could already take a screenshot control and t and you're probably wondering what's the difference now there is a difference and it's pretty cool now so I thought okay let's have a look I want you to find all the cold bases so I've gone and selected um well, yeah, as you can see, deep frozen oceans, snowy beaches, snowy mountains, snowy tundra, and they're all highlighted here. So if I was to go ahead and take a screenshot of that now, uh, we can give it a name, and yeah, that'll do. Uh, so that's that. But then I will grab a export biomes to image as well, and obviously I'll show you both these in a second. So I'll do that and give it a name and export. So you watch me take both of those at the same time, and I've now got both of them up ready to show you. So here, first of all, is the screenshot, and... That's well, exactly what it expects. I've got everything exactly as it was. Uh, I can see my highlighted uh, biomes. I've got obviously all, everything here because I forgot to get rid of that, so it's in the way. I've got all the grids there. I've got the uh, coordinates, etc. I've got the seed. It's all there. And that's fine because I want you to specifically look for something and find it in a world, and I wanted to save that as a record. So that works perfectly as a screenshot. But the biomes to export. Uh, that's different. So I didn't change anything else apart from the way I was saving it and it's produced a completely different image. Now you can see here straight away that everything is active. We can see all biomes at the same time. We haven't got grid marks, we haven't got anything and this looks like a much better quality image. It's really cool and for me I'm going to use this as a thumbnail of the video because this is exactly what I'm looking for. It may saves me having to edit it tweak things etc and it just looks superb so yes okay they are very similar and maybe you wouldn't find much use i would and i'm sure lots of you would but unfortunately that's all we've got time for in this video as and when the developers create further updates on the tool i will bring you updated videos just to keep you all in the loop so if you don't want to miss that don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends all about it but i've been Skiki gamer you've been awesome and thanks for watching goodbye